Could a common medical device used in endoscopic procedures be linked to one of the most deadly diseases of our time? Let's take a look at the facts. Antibiotic overuse and a nightmarish superbug have taken a heavy toll on Americans as new drug-resistant diseases flourish in hospitals. What's more, an estimated 40,000 harmful and lethal errors occur every day in medical facilities. The Center for Disease Control reported that one in 25 patients develop a hospital-acquired infection. In 2011, an estimated 722,000 hospital patients contracted an infection while under acute care. 75,000 died as a result. A superbug called CRE, Carbapenem resistant Enterobacteria CA, appeared in 2001 in the United States. CRE is resistant to a class of antibiotics called Carbapenem, which are often used as a last resort against deadly bacterial infections. More than 500,000 patients undergo endoscopic procedures using duodenoscopes in the U.S. every year. These medical devices are used for diagnosing and treating cancers, gallstones, and other digestive ailments. A duodenoscope is a thin, flexible fiber optic tube that is inserted down the patient's throat to allow a doctor to examine an organ. The problem for patients is that the intricate design of the device makes it extremely difficult to disinfect. Even meticulously cleaning the devices does not eliminate the risk of transmitting infection. The design allows for efficient procedures while leaving the patient at risk for infections passed from other patients. Even if cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions, the risk of multi-drug resistant bacterial infections persists. For years, hospitals, clinicians, the CDC, and researchers have been warning the Food and Drug Administration about the problems associated with procedures using duodenoscopes. John Allen, a professor at the Yale School of Medicine, tells us that we have known about this even as early as 1983 or 1984. With half a million patients undergoing procedures involving the duodenoscope, which is difficult to properly sterilize, patients are left with questions about their safety. Researchers give little hope regarding CRE, saying that there is little chance that an effective drug to kill CRE bacteria will be produced in the coming years. Given the lack of available information, many have pursued medical malpractice claims after loss of loved ones or suffering severe illness and having to be hospitalized for months. Now, we are able to see that the problem is not with the medical facility, as they have been given a device which is, at its core, defective without proper means of sterilizing. Share this video today. Americans have suffered in hospital beds for months because of how little these facts are publicized. Share this video with your friends and family so that they can be aware of the risks of this seemingly harmless procedure. If you think that you or a loved one has suffered from a superbug after undergoing a duodenoscopic procedure, call our team today. We have worked with people like you across the nation. It costs you nothing to consult with our team. We only get paid if and when you get compensated. Call today for a free consultation at 888-LAW-8500. That's 888-529-8500. And visit us online at lawyersusa.com superbug.